In Thomas Civic's sentencing, he refers to the people in the J6 wing of the DC jail as wanting fame and notoriety. They seemed like they were in a cult. Now, I do wonder if the hashtag Freedom Corner protest outside will be saying his name after that or if it will stop now. I also do wonder if him talking about this might be mentioned in Taylor's defense for his appeal because Thomas Civic would rather stay in solitary confinement than have to stay with those in the J6 wing, and he did eventually get pretrial release as well. Speaking of Taylor, I do want to mention that things are in motion for the appeal to release. The government must respond by August 1st, and if I remember right, the defense can respond to that on the 2nd. So it wouldn't be shocking to me if the Freedom Corner and the J6 wing for the first time help a J6er get out of jail just after their one year anniversary and it would actually be Taylor Taranto. Now, Thomas Civic pled guilty to assaulting Officer Michael Fanone. He also stole his radio, which prevented calls for help, along with his badge, which was later buried. Behind me is actually an evidence footage picture of the badge. The government wanted him to get 71 months. Prosecution says he stole Fanone's lifeline by stealing his radio. They also claim that Civic would have heard the taser and Fanone screaming. The defense tried to claim that Civic was going towards Fanone to help him, but the judge cuts them off to correct them that he pled guilty to assault, resisting arrest, and impeding police. The judge said that he went towards Fanone while he was screaming and people were threatening. Michael Fanone himself did speak. Mr. Civic belongs in prison. Please place him there. Mr. Civic, in an act of cowardice, stripped me of my badge, the emblem of my duty. My radio is my lifeline. It was all I had in those moments to call for help, and it was taken to be used as a trophy. Ignore Mr. Civic's pleas for remorse. On January 6th, he gave me none. He's a coward and a liar. Don't believe Mr. Civic's feigned remorse. He lied and lied and lied again. Benone says that Civic got the privilege of pretrial release and even filed a motion to use a dating app. I remember news stories on that one. The U.S. Marshal had to warn Civic supporters to not glare at Fanon. The judge also called out Civic supporters for talking during Fanon's speaking and glaring at him. The defense argues that he spent seven months in the D.C. jail with other J6ers in that wing, and, of course, remember, these would be the people that the Freedom Corner protests are calling. He said that the other J6ers seemed to act like they were in a cult. The defense says they hope Fanon finds peace because he is obviously angry. Civic himself then started speaking. He says he and others shouldn't solely be judged for the work's mistake of their lives. He apologized to Fanon and said he offended his bravery. He said towards Fanon, and I want to quote it, That's bravery. That's duty. That's the man I aspire to be. And he says he still wonders why he did what he did. Civic starts talking about the DC jail's other J6 inmates he met while there. Says they are looking for fame, fortune, and notoriety. He says, and I quote, I was criticized and belittled for seeming weak and for not subscribing to ideologies. He describes the J6 wing of the jail as authoritarianism. He said he volunteered to go to the hole to get away with it. Get away from it, sorry. So, that's, remember, we have Taylor, and the defense is saying he was attacked by those in the wing. And now we have this guy saying that the wing is terrible. Of course, we also have previous calls out from J6ers making claims about secret recordings and attempted blackmail in the wing. All that stuff's still out there, by the way. It is amazing the things that have been claimed in that wing, and that they're still housing them together and giving them all the special privilege. Judge called out Civic as not just getting caught up and said the letters sent on his behalf were mostly about Civic and not the impact of the victims. Now, sentencing. 50 months in prison, which is less than what the government wanted, and 7,559 cent restitution. I tried to find a Gibson Go to see if that's where that number came from. 
Um, I don't know. The Gibson Go I found had under $3,000 in it. But there could have been another or another donation platform. I'm not sure how they came to that specific number. But it's another J6er calling out the J6 wing. It seems to be a growing trend. 